what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a wig review so i got a cute wig from my first wig so it says my first wig and it says like quality wigs for beginners so they specialize in quality wigs for beginners so they sent me this wig stand which will come in handy and you place your wig on here and you can style the wig instead of you know trying to style it on your head so here's the box and so here's the hair in this little baggie here and it's so cute it, it kind of reminds me of like when you take your clothes to get dry cleaned or something like that i don't know but it's cute like before i open this up i got some more goodies inside so i have this goodie bag here we'll see what's in there in a second that came with the pick stocking cap and this wig knot healer it's for your lace so you can kind of blend in your lace so instead of applying concealer you can use this so this is what it looks like then it has this brush on the end so you can like you know smooth it out and the brush is very soft it's like a like a makeup brush so in this baggie here we have uh, the instructions I'll show y'all that in a minute a rat tail comb some clips ooh some bobby pins and an elastic band okay so Let's open the wig. So what I have here is Vic, the Victoria wig. The order number is B113. The texture is silky. The length is 14 inches. The hair color is a natural hair color. The cap size is 21.5 to 22 inches. The cap construction is glueless lace cap. And the lace color is medium brown. Okay, so I chose this wig with the bangs it looked so pretty on the model and the model was vicky logan i don't know if y'all watch her but i've been watching her for a long time love her okay before i cut the lace off let me show y'all what the hairline is looking like because just because it has bangs you still can wear it in other styles too so um, that's what i'm also loving about this wig so here's the hairline very natural looking if y'all can tell and it also has lace in the back so you can wear it up in a ponytail and the wig feels so light so it has the adjustable straps in the back two combs on the side one in the back and none at the top and this is how much lace you're going to be working with so that all right y'all so i cut the lace so let's apply the knot healer and i'm thinking it's supposed to look like you have bleach knots so i'm just gonna apply i don't know i don't want to overdo it i'm gonna just apply it gently okay on the hair i'm gonna just apply it like right in the middle and on the sides Let me use this brush. Let me use this brush to kind of brush it out. Okay, yeah. That looks much better once you use the brush. And you want to kind of do it lightly. I'm just heavy handed with everything, so it might be a little too much. I don't know. We'll see. But, oh, this brush is just blending it out so perfectly. So perfectly. Okay, so let's try to move some of this product over to this side. Oh, I am so excited for this product. This is so bomb. Okay, so here's how it looks now. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. Look how it looks in the inside now. So natural looking. Wow. Just look at that. Okay, so I'm going to take my hair scarf off use one of these stocking caps that was provided because I sure did not have any so this came in handy and I'm just using a stocking cap to kind of lay my hair down because obviously I don't need it because I use that wig healer so okay just position that like so all right so let's throw her on wig is so freaking light so light oh okay kind of straighten her up put the 
combs in. Let me try to find the combs. Put the comb in. Yeah. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Of course, I'm going to have to cut the bangs a little bit or I can push it back some. And I'm going to have to... And of course, any wig that you get, you're going to have to make it your own as far as styling it, um, cutting it, whatever. So, let me see. Just finger comb it a little bit. Let me get up close so y'all can see. So that's what the parting is looking like. And I could wear it back like this, you know, without the bangs. It looks so natural. Just look at the hairline. Look at that. Now if I was to glue it down. Let's use the comb that was provided, the rat tail comb and make this part a little cleaner. Okay. Cause I kinda like the middle part. I don't know why I'm all, I always go with middle parts, but I don't know. <sighs> Hair is so soft, so soft. I like it. The Hair is so soft, I love it. Can we just talk about what that wig healer did though? Just look at that. This is a beautiful wig. Oh my goodness. The construction on it is beautiful. Just look y'all, just look how natural that look. Look how natural that look. It looks like it's growing straight up out of my scalp. Yes, yes. Okay, so let's mess around with these bangs y'all. I might have to get some mousse or something. I don't know y'all, I'm really not liking the bangs on me. Well, if you like big hair, this hair is for you. But I love the length of the hair and it and it is layered. As y'all can tell, it is layered. You do have to play around with the bangs a little bit to get them to your liking. And you're probably going to have to cut them. So I'm going to use this Curls Refresher Spray on it. But if you like that look, go for it. But I want mine a little tamed because I just don't care for big hair. I just never was a big hair person. Like, I don't like the way it looks on me. Get them curls. Let's do the bottom, the ends of the hair to get that all moisturized. So pretty. Okay, so this is what it looked like with the refresher spray on it. And this is... I'm not feeling these bangs at all. Not on me anyway. I seen the videos on YouTube where they, was rock where they was rocking the same wig with the bangs and they pulled it off like they pulled it off. And I don't want to cut them because I want to wear it in other hairstyles. So let me see. Let's push them to the back. Which that looks good like that, huh? So obviously it's pre-plucked up in there because that just, just look way too natural. Okay, yeah, we're gonna wear it like this. Let's see what styles we can get with the middle part. Cause I just love middle parts. Let's see. And I'm just taking some mousse to kind of lay it down. But yeah, that's the middle part. So you really can't even tell that there's any bangs. Nope, can't tell there's any bangs. So this is what the middle part looks like. I think I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go with the sad part. Let's go back to the sad part. Sorry y'all, I'm all over the place. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like all the information on this wig and the website to my first wig will be down below in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.